and welcome to Junior Church. I'm Brother Tony, and as always, I'm here by myself because Brother Matt is running late again today. I hope you're ready to have a good day. Oh, wait, here he comes now. What's What's that? Up, Tony? What's up, brother? You just snacking? Did you miss breakfast today? Gluten free, fruit and nut granola. That's organic. <laughs> so, uh, what are you up to today? You ready for Junior Church? Uh, I don't know, man. I was, I was just thinking this week. I'm a young guy. I'm in my prime. You're an old guy. You, you've already ran your course, basically. <laughs> man, look at that gray beard. I mean, you are just perfect for serving Jesus. You don't know how many days you got left. But me, on the other hand, I you know, I need to go sow my wild oats. So I think I'm gonna let you. I'm kind of bored with the whole junior church thing. So I'm going to just leave this to you. You can serve God with whatever time you got left. And um, maybe I'll take a break. First of all, yeah, I'm not that old. I'm not even 40 yet. Okay. 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 Not that old. But second of all, what does that have to do with serving Jesus? I have a lot of time. You know, you think you do, but do you? The Bible says the life's a vapor. Think about that. You're watching a pot boil, and that steam comes off, oh, and just yeah. a one or two seconds later, what's it do? It goes your glasses. Goes... Okay, I don't have glasses. It disappears. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So, And that's what the Bible says life is like. You know, we don't know how much time we have. And besides, serving Jesus isn't just for old people. Think about that little boy with the five loaves and two fishes. Mm -hmm. He served Jesus. He gave to Jesus, and so Jesus and fed 5,000. Why? Because a little boy... Swimming to serve. That's true. You don't have to be old to serve Jesus. Anybody can. And you know what? I think that's what we're going to talk about in junior church today. All so, right. how about you hang in here with us? Right. Because you're not going to regret the time that you use to serve Christ. No matter how young or how old you are. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to serve Jesus right now. How about that? And you know what, Brother Tony? You're not really that old. Thanks. That old. That old, yeah. And I think you're right. I think, I think maybe I should... Uh, Stick around for a little bit, huh? Well, let's stick around. We're going to get started. We got Psalms. Uh, the puppets are going to be here today. And we're going to get started. So get your Bible out and get ready for Junior Church right now. Hey, Frankie. It's good to see you today. How are you doing? Yeah, it's... Eh. What does that mean, Frankie? Well, I'm trying to get my mom to come to church because I've been coming for a while and, and I really like it. It's nice to learn about Jesus and how to be nice and all this great stuff, but I want, I want my mom to come. But she doesn't listen to me. And I think it's because I'm a kid. I mean, who wants to listen to a nine-year-old? Nine years old, by the way. Oh, Frankie, don't worry. Sometimes it just takes time and prayer and it doesn't matter if you're a kid. You're not too young to serve. Really? There is a verse in 1 Timothy 4.12a, and it states that, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Well, that's, that's really encouraging. That We should read that together. Yeah, Frankie, why don't we... Why don't we say this verse together? That sounds like a good plan. Ready? Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in the word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, and in faith, and in purity. Wow, that's really helpful. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Sanchez. All right, kids. Let's try and say this together, all of us. Right. First Timothy 4.12 Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Alright. That's good to hear that you're doing better, Frankie. I'm glad. Thanks for the help, and thanks for the Bible verse. No problem. I'm here to help.
Hey everybody, welcome to Junior Church. We're going to sing some songs today, and we're going to start with Zacchaeus was a wee little man. Ready? All right, yeah, we're ready. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree, and Lord, he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in that tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Alright everybody, for our next song we're going to be singing Nothing But The Blood. Ready? Alright. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Uh, and he's ready to go out and to serve, 
But we learn about a little bit about his, about his past and about his family. You see, here the Bible tells us in this particular passage that his mother was a believer. His mother was a Christian. Over uh, in 2 Timothy chapter number 1, we find out that his mother's name was Eunice. His mother's name was Eunice. But also in that passage, we find out that not only was Timothy's mother saved, but also his grandmother, Lois. Now, I like Lois because that's my grandmother's name. I have a grandmother named Lois who was a good, godly lady. But we find out here that Lois, Timothy's grandmother, and Eunice, Timothy's mother, were both Christians, and they loved the Lord. Uh, as a matter of fact, in, in 2 Timothy uh, chapter number 3, the Bible tells us that this... Uh, Verse number 15, and from a child that has known the scriptures which were uh, able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Jesus Christ. Not only were they saved, but we know that they taught Timothy about salvation. They taught him about the scriptures. They taught him about uh, Jesus Christ. We said about making choices. Though. So Brother Tony, what's all this have to do with making choices? Well, throughout Timothy's life, Timothy had to make some important choices for himself. The first one was this, that Timothy had to choose Christ. You know, Timothy's mother was saved, and that was great. Timothy's grandmother was saved, and that was great. But the truth was, just because Lois was saved, and just because Eunice was saved, that didn't mean Timothy was going to heaven. Timothy had to choose uh, for himself. He heard the Scriptures. There's many of you who are listening to this and maybe uh, you come to junior church and, and you hear the scripture and, and you're taught about Jesus and you're taught about salvation. But just because you sit in junior church doesn't make you saved. Just because your mom or dad might be saved doesn't make you saved. You see, we all come from different backgrounds. Some of you, your mom and dad both come to church with you. They're both saved and they both love the Lord. In some families, it might be uh, that your mom's saved and your dad's not or your dad's saved and your mom's not. Uh, in some families... Man, maybe your parents don't come to church at all. Some families, you don't even live with your parents. Maybe you live with a family member or a foster son, whatever the case may be. But, but the truth is, it doesn't matter what your family heritage is. The truth is, you have to make a choice for yourself. Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Have you asked Him to forgive you of your sins? We have to do that for yourself. Like I said earlier, my grandmother, uh, Lois, just like Timothy's grandmother, she was, she's a Christian. She's a good, godly lady. And my mother, uh, Sherry, is saved. And so is my father. It, Timothy, the Bible says his father's a Greek. That's just a way of saying that he followed false gods and he wasn't a, a Christian himself. But I had the opportunity. My father said, and you know what? That's great. But you know what? When I was a young boy, when I was about six or seven years old, I had to make a choice to trust Jesus Christ as my Savior. And you have to make that choice too. Do you know Jesus Christ as your Savior? Have you asked Him and put your faith in Him as your personal Savior? So Timothy made the choice to be saved, but then he had another choice to make. And this is a harder choice, and this is kind of the choice we've been talking about with Brother Matt today. And that was the choice to serve God. You, you see, just because you're saved doesn't mean you're going to live and act like a Christian all the time. You, you know, uh, Timothy was living in a place where... And in an area where, obviously, like his father, there were people who served false gods. There were people who did things that, 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 that the God of heaven, we talk about what is sin. Sin is anything that we think, we say, or we do that displeases God. There were people around Timothy who weren't serving Jesus. Now, his mother was, and that was great, and his grandmother was, that was great. But, but even after Timothy bowed his head and said, Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner and I know that I need a Savior. Will you save me and forgive me of my sins? And, and even after he put his faith in Jesus Christ, Timothy had another choice to make. Because the Bible tells us that, 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 that we become a new creature. And old things are passed away. And old, old things become new. But, but the truth is we have to make a choice to walk with God. Just because you're saved, it doesn't mean you're just going to start reading your Bible every day. That's a choice. We have to choose to, to get up in the morning and, and read our Bible. Just because we're saved doesn't mean we're just automatically going to just get saved and you jump up and you just start praying every day. No, we have to make a choice. So Timothy had a choice. There were probably, uh, you know, like Brother Matt was talking about there, there were probably many uh, young men or young ladies that were around Timothy who were sowing their wild oats. That means they were going out and just doing whatever in the world they want to do. They weren't serving Christ and they weren't doing it. They were just having uh, what this world considers fun. And can I tell you something? Sometimes sin is fun. But the Bible reminds us in the book of Hebrews that, that there's pleasure in sin, but it's only for a season. 
There's going to come a time when those things that seem so fun are going to start to go downhill quick. And we're going to have to live with the consequences of those sins. Or we can choose to serve Christ. We can choose to, to walk with Him daily and, and get in God's Word and, 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 uh, and learn from God and, and learn about the man or the woman that He wants us to be as we get older. And, and as you get old, like Brother Matt said, with my gray beard, and oh, I see it every day in the mirror. But, but we get older... And we learn what God wants to do and we grow in Christ. And not only are we growing physically, but we're growing in Christ and we're learning and we're serving. You know, as Timothy grew, because Timothy made the choice to trust Christ as a Savior, and then Timothy did ultimately make the choice to, to, to grow and serve uh, and, and be, uh, be a, a Christian young man instead of following after the world, he, he, he developed a good reputation as a matter of fact, the Bible tells us here in our passage that, the, that whenever uh, Paul was coming into town and was looking uh, for that, that assistant, the Bible said, which was re well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. You see, uh, he chose to, to be honest. He chose to show the love of Christ. He chose to serve God. He, he chose to go to church. He chose to do those things. He chose to read his Bible and, and spend time in prayer and growing Christ. And because of that, when, it, when Paul came to town, he's like, you know what, I'm looking for an assistant. I'm looking for somebody to go with me and to serve with me and, and to be a missionary with me. The people around him said, hey, we know somebody. Well, we, we've got somebody that we would, we'd like to introduce to. His name's Timothy. He's a young man, but he loves the Lord. He serves the Lord. So he had a good reputation. He was trusted, and, and people cared for Timothy. Uh, and they wanted uh, what was good uh, for him. He had great relationships. He, he grew in the Lord. He had a great, uh, uh, a great uh, reputation. He, he, he knew the joy and the love of Christ. He knew what it was to work hard. Those are all things that we learn from the Scripture. And because of that... Paul chose Timothy. Paul chose Timothy because uh, he was serving uh, there in Lystra and Derby. Paul said, hey, Timothy, I want you to come with me. Can I tell you this? You'll never regret the time you spend serving God. Uh, you'll never regret the time you spend in God's Word learning from Him and spending time in prayer and, and spending time serving others uh, through the, the, the love of Christ. You'll never regret that. Uh, you'll never regret the time you spend not sinning. But I know many people in life who, as a teenager, they, they said, you know what, I, I know Jesus is my Savior, but man, I just want to go over here and I want to sow those wild oats. And you know what, many times, because of the consequences for their sin, they end up having lives of regret. I even think about Paul here, who Timothy went to serve with. Paul probably had some regrets from his time where he was persecuting the church. And, and he, was, uh, he probably had some regrets when he thought back on people like Stephen who he consented to have on stone. Or maybe some of the people he threw in jail. Or all those times that he tried to fight again. He probably had regrets. Timothy didn't have those regrets. And I don't want you to have those regrets. So that's why we're teaching, hey, serve, choose to serve Christ today. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes, remember the Creator in the days of of thy youth. Remember him when he's young. Serve him when he's young. Learn about him when you're young. And then do all that you can for him while you're young. You know, not only did Paul choose Timothy, but ultimately God chose Timothy. You say, Brother Tony, what do you mean God chose Timothy? Well, Paul was traveling and, and he established some churches and, and different things while he was out on his missionary journey. And, and so he came and they started a church in a place called Ephesus. Ephesus, and there in Ephesus, they needed a pastor eventually of that church, and the Bible tells us that Paul left Timothy there in Ephesus uh, and uh, to pastor the church. As a matter of fact, uh, we know that in the Bible there's a First and Second Timothy, and those First and Second Timothy were written to Timothy in the time that he was the pastor there in Ephesus. As a matter of fact, there's a, 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 a book called Ephesians. And that book of Ephesians was written to the church at Ephesus while Timothy most likely was their pastor. And so God ended up using Timothy to, to serve with Paul, to be part of these missionary journeys with Paul. But then God said, listen, Paul, I want Timothy to pastor a church. I want Timothy to lead other Christians. And, you know, there were some people who looked down on Timothy because of his age. We heard in our puppet skin, they read that verse, to, uh, to, to let no man despise thy youth. Keep serving God. Don't, don't, don't let, think that because you're young, you can't serve Him. Don't think because uh, you have plenty of time 
you can serve, you'll serve Him later because, you know, the Bible says that we're not guaranteed tomorrow that life's like a vapor. Serve Him today. Make the choice. First, think in your heart, do I know Jesus Christ is my Savior? Have I ever forget, ask Him to forgive, him, uh, uh, forgive me of my sins? And make that choice. I'm gonna, I want to trust Christ as my Savior. I need a Savior because I'm a sinner. I all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And Jesus Christ is the only one who can save me. Jesus, please be my Savior. And then make the choice, even though I'm young, even though I think I have years ahead of me, I'm going to start serving Christ today. I'm going to, I'm going to share the gospel with people. I'm going to get in my Bible. I'm going to spend time in prayer. I'm going to show the love of, of God to people by the way that I act and the way that I treat them. Like we talked about Barnabas a few weeks ago. I'm going to do all that. And I'm going to serve Christ when I'm young. I'm going to take the time that I know I have. I know I have today. And so I'm going to serve Him today. I hope you make that choice. Let's bow our heads and go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for Timothy, a young man. A young man just like those who might have been listening today. And some of them, uh, Lord, they, they, they've grown up a Christian family. Some have it. But they've heard your scripture and they've heard your word today. We ask you now. Lord, I pray that they would. If there's one out there who you're tugging on their heart and telling them they need a Savior, God, I pray that they would make that choice to trust you as Savior. And then, Lord, for those who, who, who have right now or maybe in the past they've chosen uh, you as Savior, God, I pray that each and every one would, would put their faith in you and then choose to serve you with their life. God, not wait till they're old like Brother Tony and have gray in their beard and no hair on their head. But God, they would choose today as a young man and a young woman. I'm going to study God's Word. I'm going to spend time praying to Him. I'm going to, I'm going to go to church and I'm going to do what's right. And I'm going to show the love of Christ to others. And I'm going to uh, share the gospel with those. I'm going to pass out whatever it is. I'm going to pass out tracts. I'm going to do whatever it is that I can do to serve God. Lord, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Congratulations to our winner. Thank you for sending in your answers this week, everybody. Uh, but to the winner, we'll get your prize at you as soon as possible. Unless I see you in church, then I'll hand it to you there. Question of the week to send into our junior church text line at 717-739-6536 is... From Who was Timothy's grandmother? Ooh. Talk about Timothy's family today. What was the name of Timothy's grandmother. Send that in as soon as you can, as quick as you can. Don't wait till the end of the week. Send it in to 717-739-6536. So Brother Matt? Yeah! Are you glad you stayed around? You know what? I am glad because these oats are really good. Well that, but I'm also I mean, you know, are you still ready to quit and leave it to the old people? No, you know what? I want to I want to stick around for a little bit because we're not really promised tomorrow. We're not. We got to serve God today. Exactly. Yep. We need to serve Him with the time that we have. And you know what we have? We have the time right now. So go out this week. Find out how you can serve Christ. Share Christ with somebody. Do, do good. Show Christ's love to somebody this week. And we'll see you next Sunday for Junior Church. Bye.